Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be discussing mass mail, or bulk email, or email blasting. Uh, a lot of people think that you really need some software, special software, to do a mail blast. Uh, but that's not true. You actually have everything you need if you have Microsoft Office. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick way how to do it. Usually all my videos are lengthy, but I'm going to try to, to go about it in a quick way. Um, so suppose you have some marketing material, you just bought a mailing list, or you scraped the internet for some emails, <coughs> and you want to send a letter to everybody. Um, and you want to do it without the cost of very expensive software and things of that nature. So uh, the only two things that you really need to do this is the Outlook, and you have to make sure that you have an email configured uh, in Outlook. So let me pop open Outlook, and I'm going to be using Office 2013, um, but you can really use any version of Office. Uh, you can use uh, Microsoft uh, Office 2010. Uh, it doesn't matter, as long as you have Outlook with an email configured. Um, so I have an email configured here, and I'm going to click on Outbox, because uh, I want to show you guys how I get all the emails to send out of here. Uh, and next, you're going to need Excel. Um, so let's open up Excel. We're going to be using three Microsoft Office programs. We're going to be using Excel, we're going to be using Word, and Outlook. Um, so you keep Outlook open in the background. Uh, just make sure you check out box and I'll show you guys why. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Excel. I'm going to make a blank workbook. And this is going to be my database of emails. So suppose I have first name, um, last name, um, irrelevant stuff that I'm just going to write stuff, and then email. So these are my headers. Now if you watch my other videos, if you click on my channel, you'll see a mail merge tutorial uh, where I teach you how to do this. Um, so this is uh, the headers for my little database of mass emails. So let's say first name I have John, I have Jane, I have Brian, I have Adam, I have Jacob, I have Anna, I have Sasha, I have Michael, and I have, uh, I don't know, Spence. Oh, I just give it a weird name. It's not a weird name. There's a Spence watching this, but yeah, Spence. Um, and let's say it's John Smith. Jane Smithers, um, Brian uh, Adams, uh, Adam Eve, uh, Jacob Joshua, uh, Anna Blah Blah, uh, Sasha Patel, Michael Jordan, and Spence. Actually, let's make it Donald Spencer. Actually, know someone with that name. Okay, so I have my list of recipients here. Now, you don't have to have names. I'm just doing this to show you the example. Now in stuff, I'm just going to make the word, I'm going to write the word yo with exclamation mark. Uh, remember, you can't use commas because this is going to be a comma separated file. And if you watch my video uh, on mail merging, you would understand. Um, again, you can always click back and watch my videos. And here's the most important part, email. So we're going to be putting some email addresses in here. Um, let's put john at whatever.com. Let's put Jane at whatever.com, and here we go. We have everybody at whatever.com. Um, now, if you go online and you buy email list, or you're scraping from Yellow Pages for marketing purposes, or things of that nature, or it's just something you have to do for work, you'll be putting everything here, and you make sure that you title your column header as email. Um, stuff, that's just irrelevant. You can have as many things as you need. You can have city, state, zip code. You can have um, favorite color, you could have product, you could have whatever. Uh, and then we have first name and last name because we want to personalize the email. We don't want to send the same email to everybody. We want to make it personal. So that's it. I have my database. Very, very simple. So now I'm just going to save this. Uh, and I'm going to save this as a comma separated value file, a CSV. So it'll be comma delimited. Um, where is CSV? There you go, comma delimited. And I'm going to call it sample database, and I'm just going to store it on my desktop. Okay, yes, X, save, thank you, save, yes, and bye. Okay, here's my sample database right here on my desktop. Um, next, I'm going to be using Word. Notice how I just jumped from Excel, Microsoft Excel, to Microsoft Word. Now, again, you could use any version of Word, and I'm going to create a blank document. And now we're kind of doing what my uh, other video told you to do, which is go to mailings. We're going to mail merge, but we're going to do a special merge. We're going to do an email merge. So we're going to go to mailings. We're going to go to start merge, and we're going to say email messages. Uh, then I'm going to say hi, and I'm going to go to insert. Oh, before I do that, let me select my recipients. So we have the select recipients button over here. Remember, everything is under the mailings tab. 
um, start merges in the mailings tab that's where I selected email messages the next step would be to select my recipients and I'm gonna actually select my sample database uh, which is stored on my desktop it's the CSV file I just have to navigate to it double click it and uh, that's it now we have all our recipients uh, in the word uh, merging merging tab and now I'm gonna go to insert merge field and I'm gonna say hi first name space last name comma the field value for stuff is insert stuff yo but can be whatever you want this is my sample mass email to my sample CSV database this email has been sent to and I'm going to add the merge field email insert field email thank you and bye Elon okay now I'm gonna click on preview results and let's see so John Smith the uh, the field value for stuff is yo and the email has been sent to John at whatever dot com so when I click on next and I look at all my results it's gonna say hi Jacob hi Anna and then it's gonna on the bottom it's gonna say the email address of that person um, and you can have as many fields as you want now notice everything actually came from this sample database that we built we could have added any fields in there uh, so now that we have that now it's time for the magic to happen to actually send all these emails out so in the mailings tab you have the finish merge button which you'll click on and then the very last thing it'll say send email messages you're gonna click that and then it's gonna say the two and it's gonna ask you select a field where you have all the emails so what is the column that we have all the emails so that's why we made those headers to label uh, that we have emails under email so I'm gonna click on that and the subject of all my emails is gonna be some marketing stuff Okay, and I can actually choose how the mail format is going to be. It could either be HTML, it could be plain text, or it could be attached, uh, just as attachment. So it's very, very cool. So I'm going to send this as an HTML email, uh, and I'm going to click on OK. Now, once I click OK, I'm going to get a little icon on the bottom of my system tray telling me that Outlook is being used by another program. In this case, it'll be Word. What's going to happen is when I click OK, Word is going to populate all my outbox items. Uh, with all these people that I have here in this database John Smith Jane Smith and it's gonna actually send emails to all of them uh, so let's see that happen so I'm gonna click on OK and take a look at my Outlook yeah, it's actually sending right now oh wait there's one more in there John that whatever didn't send yet but all the other ones sent so let's say I had nine recipients right eight of them were sent already but John at whatever didn't get sent yet so let me click on send receive <laughs> And here we go. I'm getting errors because there's no people at whatever.com. So <laughs> getting a lot of errors actually telling me that, hey, there's no one at that email. But it's proof that this is actually working. I actually just sent out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven emails I sent out uh, to all these people. And I can actually see a copy of the mail message as well. Here is the mail message right here. Um, subject some marketing stuff so this is how you send bulk emails with word you don't need anything special to do this um, you can do this with a lot of contacts now there's a timeout which is why outlook just kind of didn't send my first one for whatever reason I'm sure it's gonna go out soon uh, let me just mark this email red alright so I wasn't able I wasn't able to email uh, these fake addresses because they're obviously fake so when I in the future have a really big list of emails now oh another thing I wanted to mention is that all the emails will be appearing coming from your email address which means is the email address you have here in Outlook so that means that when the 180 people that you're emailing to or the thousand billion people you're planning on mail blasting with spam or whatever it is you're sending maybe it's not spam but um, they're gonna see that the from email is gonna be your email address okay so it's just something to make note of because when they reply to it it's gonna come to you so word to the wise if you were to spam or if you were to send crazy massive marketing lists to people um, with lists that you bought or scraped or whatever it is make sure that you have a different account in Outlook that you're sending from um, the default account is always the automatic sending account okay so that's what uh, word is gonna communicate with it's gonna communicate with Outlook and Outlook is gonna grab that default account and populate the outbox 
and you'll see here John Smith is still here still hasn't went out oh it just went out um, and I'm not now I'm gonna get an error any second now telling me that John at whatever doesn't exist hold on let's see if it comes quick enough oh not yet oh there it is right there so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine emails that I sent in a click of a button um, so let's go over this again just a quick, quick thing. We're going to be using, again, remember, we use three programs all by Microsoft. We have our sample database, which was built in Excel. And I'm going to open a read-only copy of it. So I can create anything I want here, uh, any fields I want. Just remember to put the headers in. Remember, it's a common delimited file. You'll be saving it as. You'll be saving it anywhere. Um, just make sure you have all the emails lined up nice and easy all over the column. You can have maybe one billion emails, whatever Excel will permit you to have. Oh, whatever you have. Um, and then you have some other uh, dynamic variables that you can include in your emails. You can put in different variables, so different people will have uh, different types of uh, messages, for example. Uh, you have your first names and you have your last names. Then what we did is we went to Word. We went to the mailing tab. We clicked on Start a Merge and we selected Merge to Envelope, I mean Merge to Email Messages. We then clicked on Select Recipients and we said Use an Existing List. And this list is this Excel list that we just created this email database with. Now, once we selected this example list, we went and we just insert these merge fields right here. So we basically said hi. So let's say you have a pretty template you built and you have a whole email message going out trying to persuade your clients or whatever it is that you have. Um, and you'll be able to go to insert merge field, insert their name. That way when they get their email, it's actually going to say hi, Elon, or hi, John, rather than hi, user, or hi, customer, or hi, potential customer. No one likes to read that. People like personal. Um, so you'll be able to do that um, using this. You see, I can preview the results and what each email will look like by clicking on preview results. Uh, and once that's done, I just go to finish merge. And I go to send email messages. Now, I can print out all these documents also of these actual letters. Again, I have another video on YouTube, uh, tutorial how to mail merge. Uh, and it shows you how to mail merge exactly what I'm doing now to print uh, labels and letters. It's a really good video. Uh, but it's, I'm actually using Microsoft Office 2010 and that one. And this one, I'm using Microsoft Office 2013. Uh, again, not a big difference. You see, it's almost the same buttons, just a different look. So you click on send email messages. Um, you put in the subject of the email and you click OK and everything gets populated directly into Outlook um, and it all goes into your Outbox and immediately sends. Just make sure to have Outlook open, make sure you have an email set up and you're able to send from it and uh, click on send and that's it. I uh, should make a video showing how to scrape emails. There, there's actually tools out there to scrape emails uh, if you're ever interested in creating your own marketing list but that's for another time maybe. Um, okay. Thank you for watching my video. This has been a video about uh, bulk mailing or bulk mass mailing using nothing but Microsoft Office. No special tools or anything of that nature. Um, subscribe, like, and watch my other videos. Uh, I have good videos, you know, my Excel 2013 video, my Outlook video, um, you know, things of that stuff, things of that nature, rather. Well, thank you again, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.